CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 3.1 Explain basic cable types and their connectors, features, and purposes. Video Cables Video connectivity in the realm of information technology involves a wide array of cable options, each capable of transmitting visual and sometimes audio signals between various devices such as computers, monitors, TVs, and projectors. These cables play a crucial role in ensuring seamless communication and display of digital content. In this video, we will discuss several different types of video cables, their purposes, and how they have evolved over time to meet the demands of modern technology. And first up, we have VGA cables. VGA is short for Video Graphics Array and is a graphic device interface standard that was released in 1986. It was very popular with older computing devices. This standard is not the oldest graphic interface standard, but is the oldest one we will cover in this video. Some useful facts about this standard are that it uses a 15-pin connector that is often signified by the color blue. The standard is designed to transmit video only. So if you want audio, you are going to need another interface and cable for that. VGA also uses analog signals to transmit data. Now, when it comes to electrical signals, analog signals do not transmit as fast as digital signals. As a byproduct, the use of analog signals with the VGA graphic interface standard causes it to be incapable of supporting higher resolutions or the amazing graphics that we have become accustomed to. No HD or high-definition images with this standard. Additionally, the VGA standard also separates and individually transmits the colors of red, green, and blue, or the RGB color values. Next, we have the Digital Video Interface, or DVI for short. This is a graphic device interface standard that was released in 1999. That was over a decade after the release of the VGA standard. DVI had the main job of bridging the gap between old and new. Older display devices were using analog signals, while manufacturers were pushing to release newer display devices that utilized digital signals in order to provide higher resolutions or output better quality graphics. Improving upon VGA, the DVI connector came with a possible 29 pins. With more pins came more possibilities, including the ability to solve the problem manufacturers were faced with. With these additional pins, DVI was able to transmit and receive both analog and digital signals. Still no audio, though. With up to 29 pins at its disposal, the DVI standard comes with five different variants. As I stated previously, DVI supports both analog and digital signals. So here is how we keep things organized. DVI Dash It is the analog variant. DVI Dash A transmits only analog signals. It is designed to transmit video signals in a manner similar to a VGA connection. DVI Dash D is the digital variant. DVI Dash D transmits digital signals only and its connectors can come in different configurations, such as single link or dual link. In single link DVI, there is only one channel or pathway available for transmitting data and dual link has two channels. With a second channel, higher quality graphics can be achieved. It sure seems like we are always on a quest for bigger and better graphics. Okay, now for the last variant. DVI dash I. With DVI-I, the second I stands for Integrate. This variant is a hybrid interface that combines both analog and digital signals in a single connector. DVI-I also offers single link and dual link configuration options, but these options are only supported by the digital half of this variant. That was a lot of information and worthy of a quick summary. So remember, DVI-A transmits analog signals, DVI-D transmits digital signals, and DVI-I transmits both analog and digital signals. Moving forward from DVI in 2004, 
the HDMI graphic device interface standard was released. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface, and it comes with a 19-pin connector. Now the name High Definition Multimedia really says it all. HDMI supports multimedia or audio and video in one interface. No longer do we need a second cable to transmit audio data. This standard was immediately adopted by television manufacturers and then quickly spread to all display devices. Today, it is the most widely used graphic device interface. Also, as the name implies, it supports high-definition resolutions or high-quality graphics. The HDMI standard also dropped analog signaling altogether and is fully digital. Now, I have saved the best for last. Well, that is merely an opinion and certainly debatable, so I will invite you to comment with your personal thoughts. Anyways, a few years after the release of HDMI, in 2008, we were given the DisplayPort Graphic Device Interface Standard. Since 2008, DisplayPort and HDMI have been battling it out for top spot. So let's cover the basics of DisplayPort. It comes with a 20-pin connector, provides audio and video data streaming, and uses digital signal. Sounds a lot like HDMI, doesn't it? So how are these two standards different? Well, the DisplayPort standard is free to use, or open source, while the HDMI standard charges the manufacturers a small fee per device for its use. Also, DisplayPort has a higher throughput speed for now. I say for now, as updates to these standards are always in the works. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.